Ready? This is it? You got it? Yep. Sure. Stand behind me. Right. Way right. First step. So I think that sometimes your balls that go too far to the left or your poles or whatever are resulting of this. Okay. So let's set up one more time. Feel like you're aiming like way left of the blue. Just as a feel. You're still to the right of the flag. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Okay, perfect. Now, let's get it out to that blue flag. Okay. Well, the ball's going to start between the orangest, pinkest flag in front of us and the blue. It'll bleed to the right a bit. Nice shot. Okay, keep going. More open or more left? More. Okay, good. Now look up. Recognize how far out to the right that flag looks. And let's get it out there. Feels like you have to push it out there, doesn't it? Are you working with any swing thoughts right now? Any ideas that have been working for you? Uh, I've been trying to not get caught on my back foot. Um, okay. Like, just trying to keep, I guess, center over the ball and all, all the time. Don't get too loaded on the back foot. Okay. Because I find, like, I stay there if I go there at all. I think that, like, you have to get there in order to get the ball back to the left because you're aiming to the right. right. I think that's kind of a... At the relationship there. So if we feel like we aim a little bit to the left today, I'd love. I think it's going to be easier for you to feel like you get off this back foot. Okay. Okay. Like that. Anything else going on? Arm uh, shaft, something. Oh yeah, I always think we go straight, straight back. Like almost trying not to go outside too early or cool. inside too early. Okay. Just try and draw a straight line, almost straight through. Love it. Yeah. Works for me. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going to that target. More left. There you go. So how far left do you feel right now? Where do you feel like you're aiming? So 25 yards? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Feet a little closer together. There you go. Okay, pretty good. So aiming to the right always builds in open faces because it's easier to cut across the ball that way and swing out to the left. Yeah. It builds in reverse pivots, falling back to the back foot. So. A lot of the stuff that I'm seeing that I want to be like, okay, we're going to work on that, I think that's going to get corrected simply by getting you aligned better okay. and getting a better idea of where you're trying to send it. So 25 yards left is kind of our idea with your alignment, right? Trying to feel like, you know, like you said, you were hot bunker on the left. So the more left you can aim, the more the target's going to feel out that way, which I'm hoping is going to start encouraging you to kind of swing things out that way. Okay? A little bit, yeah. I don't really want to tell you to start swinging in a direction that's not where the target is, but because the target's out there, it's going to feel like you're swinging out to get to it because there used to be a swinging in to get to it. So, yeah, if you get the feet set right, your shoulders should line up okay after that. It should be fine. 
So body left, and then from here, as you take this club back, I've mentioned, okay, so if we've got our target line, we've got where the ball is, I want you to use your body to turn to bring that club away from the ball. I don't want you to leave your body facing the ball and bring the club in relative to you, right? I want the whole body to move so that this golf club works inward from the ball, but not inward from you. There's inward from you. Here's still where it started, right? Haven't changed much right there. So I want it to feel right from setup that the arms and the wrists and all that stuff and the hands don't change their any other twist. They don't change at all. You turn your body back a whole bunch. And then from here, like I said, getting forward and getting tall. We have to get in front of the golf ball and then from there get tall to face the target. And so stand right here for a sec. When I'm moving through this shot, like if I've got a line, you know, where the ball is, maybe where my heel is, I have to make sure that my right knee, my right leg get past that. So by pushing that through, that completes the rotation. Now I can face the target, right? It brings all my stuff forward. But if we're hitting the shot from this spot where the club has passed, I'm still short and not turned enough, that's when the club doesn't get to the ground as much. That's when this, the club gets to twist so it can go a little left, a lot left, it can curve right, it can curve left, lots of different things. So sliding in front of the golf ball, standing up, that's what's putting this club all the way through there. It's not my arms, it's my body turning and standing will put the club over there. So body turn away from the ball, slide and stand. Right, and I didn't feel like I did anything like this to that shot. Right, now we're going to get some speed to your arms. The speed's going to happen a little bit earlier in the game over here. But just when it comes down to what I want you to feel to start this transition into the ball, is feeling like you're sliding as much forward in front as you can. And as you stand up, you back up a little bit so you don't fall. Right, because okay. you're going this way. If you kept going forward at all, you'd walk through. So we have to have a little bit of a backup. So tummy turn, lean forward tall but back up a little bit and that club should smash into the ground better but then it's going to come out of the ground better because you're standing taller okay so let me see you do that okay so there you go good turn to the top okay feet closer together turn to the top Okay, slide forward, good, and then, yeah, feet still closer together. Okay, good. So I want to try and get this bone over those toes okay. at the end of your swing. Yeah, 25 yards left. That'll yeah, work. One more. One more. Trying to put it all together. Mm -hmm. Feet really close together. Okay, so show me the backswing and hold it in your backswing. Like halfway back, maybe. Hold it. Okay. Turn more. There. That's what I want it to feel like. So I'm not sure where that is relative to you for you to get the feel of it. Yeah. See how you're trying to push the club back more? Yeah. I'm trying to push it away from me, and you keep trying to bring it back. <laughs> right. right. So you might feel like the club doesn't go back behind that line today, that it has to stay on this side of that line okay. as it goes up. Gotcha. Okay. So part of this is with the golf club, right? Trying, if, if this doesn't turn in the back so when the club face gets open, so if you want to feel like you close the club face a little, that's totally okay. okay. But this on the way back and forward and tall on the way through. And that's what's going to move the golf club for you rather than arms going around you. Okay, so giving you a lot of stuff to think about. I think yeah. your priority is going to be your trigger off the ball, like making sure that it's your body, the full body pivot to move the club back. And then secondary priority is getting phone over your shoe. Yeah, right knee over your left shoe. Okay. Well, that is totally different. Well done.
want to give them some of those balls. Wow, awesome. Okay, different club. How about uh, yeah, that's hybrid, five wood, whatever that is under there? Yeah, I'm going to go for... Yeah, off the deck, off the ground, like you'd normally play it. Andrew. Separate spots for these. What's that? Yep, that's good. Yeah. Yikes, wow, good shot. Keep an eye on them. One little guy likes to tee up behind everybody. You could whack him. Your first junior clinic. That's so good. That's the best I've seen you hit it, for sure. Like, so I feel like my miss is right. Like I straight right. Hit it well, yeah, straight right. Yep. Yeah. So there's no curve away from the target. You're either hitting it straight to the right, or so it's not curving away. It's just going straight, or it's over curving to the left, yeah. right? Or it's a little bit of a miss hit, which I think just comes down to like rhythm and tempo, um, or just like zoned out for a minute, right? Basic yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I like this. Let's just keep working on the fact that you feel left and you're swinging to a target that's at the, on the right. So feel like I'm swinging to a target on the right. Yeah, so aim your body to the left and feel like you're trying to swing to a target that's more out to the right than you're used to. So my body, body more left, but yeah. playing more right. Yeah. yeah, but I still want you to feel like you're going at the flag, like you're swinging straight at the flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes like I set up first without the ball, and then now when I drift the ball, then I'm looking more at the flag. And Yep. 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 Dude, phenomenal. Okay, I'd say practice a little bit more with that, then some drivers, and then wedges. And I want to see what the flight's going to be like with the wedges next time. But that's great. It's yeah. wherever you put your feet now dictates how your arms have to swing to get the ball to a target. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, big tall tree. Huh. Painted it from top to bottom. Nice.
Okay. So let's start looking at misses and talking about what happened during those misses. So yeah. keep going. Keep going, yeah. Yep. There's, you know, there's one miss that you're going to have to do better with, yeah. and then there's another miss that's just going to show up. It is what it is. More left. There you go. Okay. What's the shaft in there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's from TXT, that 65? Yeah. You know? uh, actually, a friend of mine just, like, he's got this one. And I was looking at it maybe three weeks ago, and I'm like, I've never seen it before. So that's why I was asking, does yeah, it look like it? Yeah, he's got three separate shafts. Okay. Yeah, TXT. Stole it from me, and then I uh, got the driver head, and then a year ago. So I kind of bought them as I saved up. Nice, pay. nice. Yeah, yeah. It's a, that's the fastest head out there. The, oh, pay, yeah. the ping yeah. is so fast. Yeah. For me, it just went so much farther. Incoming. Hi. Yeah, it's a good angle. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Skill right there. Uh-huh. Is there a certain height you're trying to hit or it's just whatever's going straight? So the height, like if it's going straight, then we start looking at height. If it's not going straight, it's like, hey, we can change things by changing the height. Right. I think that when it comes to what, you're, what you've got, um, I think that by adding loft is just going to make the ball go shorter. Okay. And I think that the, the launch that you're getting at the spin that you're getting is going to hit the ground hot. And it's going to go. Yeah, yeah. And so I think it's a, yeah. yeah, it's not curving far off line. Yeah. And I think that by messing with some of the loft might, might I'd change a little bit. Longest, I'd love to, at this point, the longest point. So it's a 10? No, it's a, uh, it's eight and a half. Okay. Yeah, it's a nine with the first line, the small line. Of nine, so, yeah. Well, if that's already lowered down, I would put that back. I thought it was just standard. I'd put it back at standard. Yeah, you can get, yeah. you probably get a little more height. It might help, but yeah. like, crazy, let's, yeah. let's be honest. Like we're talking three or four yards. Oh, is that all? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'd rather just make sure it's consistent, obviously. Then. You're spinning it low. You're launching it pretty good. Adding a bunch more loft or launch might not do anything for your total distance because it'll take away your run out. Right. So I don't know. I don't like. There's a, there's a, a point, right? Where yeah. Way. Yeah. Good. And I think that when you get your body facing the target the earliest and let your shoulders and arms come through after that, that's the one that goes the straightest for you. Let my body get ahead of my... Big time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't change that. Too much good stuff's happening to start thinking about some type of optimizing. Yeah, yeah. When optimizing... Yeah, like, what's the difference between 283 and 286? Oh, yeah. It's that much. Yeah, I don't know. No, you're hitting it far, you're hitting it solid. It's not curving, it's not overspinning. Yep. It's going to hit the ground, it's going to run. Like, your driver length will be dependent on the course you play. 
if it's uphill or downhill, if it's hard or if it's been watered, morning, evening, like that's about it. But yeah. you're hitting it great, it wouldn't change it. Yeah, no, I think the feed alignment, I've had, like I usually find figure out driving by the back nine. Mm -hmm. Just putting your swing on a better line. Yeah. You had your swing on a bad line because of where your feet were. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, short, short irons now yeah. Or yeah. I haven't done any wedges yet. So. Yep. Do some wedges. I like it.